Hi, how are you? We will discuss the Battle of Hulo Gate, a pivotal moment in Chinese history. Okay, let's just go to the story. After the Yellow Turban Rebellion, internal power disputes in the imperial court did not cease. Dong Zhu from Ziliang seized the opportunity to take over the chaos in the capital and usurp the power of the imperial court through his strong military might. Thus began the Age of Tyranny. Ziliang, located far in the west, became a gathering place for heroes and warriors. Dong Zhuo was one of the warriors who successfully transformed Ziliang into a formidable military force. The political term oil created the perfect opportunity for Dong Zhuo to come into power. He decided to seize this opportunity to make his move on the imperial court, Dong Zhuo. Through a series of political maneuvers and military actions, brought his troops to the capital and managed to overthrow the sitting prime minister. He also played a role in safeguarding the young Han Emperor and behind this protection. Dong Zhuo held the reins of the government. Upon gaining control over the empire, Dong Zhuo took measures to strengthen his power. He executed many royal family members who potentially posed a threat in the future. Dong Zhuo created a system where he was at the top of the power pyramid with the emperor just serving as a symbol. Through exploitative, oppressive, and violent measures, Dong Zhuo ruled with an iron fist. Not everyone was willing to accept Dong Zhuo's tyrannical rule. A number of generals and famous figures across the empire formed an alliance against Dong Zhuo, known as the Anti-Zhuo Coalition. They planned to attack Ulao Gate, the main entrance to the capital to end Dong Zhuo's reign. Will the Anti-Zhuo Coalition be successful in its mission? The regional leader's anger towards Dong Zhuo's brutality grew day by day. One figure who played a crucial role in this opposition was Cao Cao. After a failed assassination attempt, Cao Cao fled to his hometown from his hiding spot. Cao Cao began sending out calls to the regional leaders across the nation to arm themselves and form a coalition force. The main goal of this coalition was to obliterate Dong Zhuo's rule which had been oppressing the people for years. Before he made this call, Cao Cao had tried to kill Dong Zhuo. However, his attempt was unsuccessful so he was forced to flee back to his homeland. The courage shown by Cao Cao in facing Dong Zhuo's tyranny became a spirit for the regional leaders to join the coalition. Forces, Cao Cao made every effort to spread this call to all corners of the country. He relied on his network of contacts and relationships he had with other regional leaders. Soon enough, support to form this coalition began to flow from various regions. With the spread of Cao Cao's call, more and more regional leaders became interested in joining the coalition against Dong Zhuo. They realized that combined strength could defeat the tyranny that had been ruling the country so far from various corners of the country. Regional leaders started to prepare their troops to join the battle against Dong Zhuo. As the number of coalition troops increased, Cao Cao began to formulate the strategies and tactics to be used in the battle one of which was preparing for the battle at Hulao Gate, a strategic point that will serve as the battleground between the coalition forces and Dong Zhuo's army. In this battle, Cao Cao and the coalition forces had to face Dong Zhuo's army, which was not only robust, but also supported by a number of skilled generals like Lu Bu. Nevertheless, Cao Cao, with the support of the regional leaders, was not afraid to face his opponent. Cao Cao's call to the regional leaders was the beginning of organizing power against Dong Zhuo's rule. The wide-ranging support mobilization will be key in inspiring the people's courage to unite against the tyranny and cruelty of Dong Zhuo in the famed Battle of Hulao Gate. Cao Cao's call to form a coalition against Dong Zhuo received positive responses from various regional leaders. Famous leaders like Yuan Shao, Yuan Shu, Sun Jian, and Ma Tang all participated in the efforts to combat Dong Zhuo's cruelty. 
Yuan Shao and Yuan Shu were the renowned leaders who responded to Cao Cao's call. Both carried substantial influence within their respective regions and could provide significant supporting power within this coalition. Yuan Shao and Yuan Shu were the renowned leaders who responded to Cao Cao's call. Both carried substantial influence within their respective regions and could provide significant supporting power within this coalition. In addition, Sun Jian and Ma Tang also participated in the coalition. Both were regarded as figures with formidable strength and military skills, making them valuable assets within the coalition against Dong Zhuo. Liu Bei and his brothers also joined the coalition. Liu Bei's war experience and commitment made him a highly respected leader, and his participation in the coalition demonstrated the depth and seriousness of dissatisfaction towards Dong Zhuo. Gong Sun Zan, another military leader, also demonstrated his support for the coalition. His participation in the Allied Army added strength and strategic thinking to the coalition ranks. With the joining of these leaders, the Allied Army against Dong Zhuo was officially formed. This turning point marked the beginning of serious efforts to remove Dong Zhuo from power and restore peace in the country. The upcoming war's result will be determined by this bravery and resolve. In 190 AD, the Allied forces, with Yuan Shao as the supreme commander, launched their major offensive against Dong Zhuo in the capital of Luoyang. The first step of this force was marching towards Luoyang, the capital city that was under Dong Zhuo's control at the time. This move aimed to destroy Dong Zhuo's power center and reclaim the capital for the people. Among the leaders in the Allied army, Sun Jian was assigned as the head of the vanguard. This officer with an impressive military record was responsible for the success of the coalition's initial movement towards Luo Yang. Sun Jian, with his strength and courage, then advanced eastward to the Sishui Gate. This gate was crucial for determining the Allied Army's success in their strategy. The Allied forces' movement towards Luo Yang marked the tactical beginning of the nation-wide effort to defeat Dong Zhuo. With Yuan Shao as the supreme commander and Sun Jian leading the initial movement towards the Sishui Gate, the Allied Army established their early steps in this historic battle at the Hulao Gate. The intense confrontation between the Allied forces and Dong Zhuo climaxed at the Battle of Sishui Gate, a conflict that altered the fate of the entire campaign. Dong Zhuo, realizing the significance of Sishui Gate in defending Luo Yang, dispatched Hua Zhong to defend it. Hua Zhong, as one of the most reliable military commanders, became the primary fortress that Sun Jian had to face. In the first initial encounters, Sun Jian managed to defeat Hua Zhang and seemed to achieve a relatively significant victory. This triumph revived hopes and spirit within the Allied forces. However, this early success did not last long. Yuan Shu, responsible for supplies, failed to deliver adequate support, and this had a severe impact on Sun Jian's troops' morale. The troops began to feel exhaustion, fear, and despair, stricken with supply shortages and waning battle spirit. Sun Jian's forces were desperate. In the following battle, Hua Zhang exploited this situation and managed to defeat Sun Jian's forces, securing a key victory for Dong Zhuo. Through the Battle of Sishui Gate, we can see the importance of strategy and adequate supplies in a battle. Although Sun Jian demonstrated his prowess as a commander, the failure in supply management and rear support had a significant impact on the final outcome. This result asserts that in a war, one miscalculation can reverse the outcome of the battle. After achieving victory over Sun Jian, Hua Zhang continued his onslaught on the main camp of the Allied forces, but he did not anticipate the retaliation that would be delivered by Guan Yu one of the most heroic generals of the Allies. Following his victory over Sun Jian, 
Hua Zhong attempted to capitalize on the momentum gained by launching a massive attack on the main camp of the Allied forces. He hoped this assault would break the enemy's fighting spirit and secure a swift victory for Dong. Zhuo, Hua Zhong's attack caught the unprepared Allied forces off guard. And chaos spread throughout the camp. Massacres ensued with allied troops and officers falling one by one at the hands of Hua Zhong and his forces. Guan Yu, Liu Bei's sworn brother and one of the most skilled and courageous commanders in the allied forces, did not stand idly by as his comrades were slaughtered? Bravely? He challenged Hua Zhong to a one-on-one -on -one duel in a fierce battle. Guan Yu's counterattack was swift and ferocious. After a few brief but brutal bouts, Guan Yu managed to defeat Hua Zhong, bringing the wicked enemy's head back to the main camp. Guan Yu proved his worth and bravery in the battle against Hua Zhong. Through this legendary duel, he managed to break the enemy's attack momentum and save his allied forces' comrades from a possible defeat. This heroic event will forever remain in history. As a testament to boundless courage on the Hulaugate battlefield, the Battle of Hulaugate reached its climax. As Dong Zhuo prepared to face the allied forces in a final bid to maintain his power. With Lu Bu as the main guardian, this battle broke out with an unprecedented ferocity. Upon hearing the news of Hua Zhong's death, Dong Zhuo realized the situation was increasingly turning against him. As a last resort, he set up a defensive line at Hulao Gate. In his effort to prevent the allies from approaching Luo Yang, he entrusted the protection of this gate to Lu Bu, the strongest general in his army. Lu Bu was known as an unbeatable warrior. With extraordinary physical strength and combat skills, positioning Lu Bu as gatekeeper, Dong Zhuo relied on his general's ability to break the fighting spirit of the allied forces and halt their progress. As the allied forces took on Lu Bu, it seemed there was no hope of defeating him. The allied forces wavered in the face of this unstoppable opponent and even Gongsun Zan, one of the most reliable generals of the allies, nearly perished at the hands of Lu Bu. However, amidst the chaos and despair, Zhang Fei came to rescue Gongsun Zan from the clutches of death. This heroic act galvanized the allied forces, reigniting their hope and fighting spirit to continue the battle against Dong Zhuo and Lu Bu. The Battle of Hulao Gate was a testament to the courage and tenacity of the allied forces in resisting the cruelty and tyranny of Dong Zhuo. Through a series of fierce battles and heroic moments, the allies continued to fight till the end to achieve their objective to topple Dong Zhuo and restore justice to the Han Empire. At a pivotal moment in the Battle of Hulao Gate, Lu Bu, the strongest general in Dong Zhuo's army, had to face the combined power of the legendary three brothers, Zhang Fei, Guan Yu, and Liu Bei. This confrontation served as a crucial turning point ultimately influencing the outcome of the major battle. In the heat of the intense battle, Zhang Fei showcased his bravery and combat ability by relentlessly attacking Lu Bu. However, despite Zhang Fei's successive attacks, Lu Bu stood firm, not budging an inch. Realizing that Zhang Fei could not defeat Lu Bu on his own, Guan Yu promptly joined the fight against Lu Bu, yet... Even with the combined power of Zhang Fei and Guan Yu, Lu Bu showed no signs of retreating. Lu Bu's strength was truly extraordinary, further unsettling the allied forces. Upon witnessing his brothers in a fierce struggle against a formidable enemy, Liu Bei finally joined the fray to lend them a hand. With Liu Bei's arrival, the legendary three brothers were finally united, working together to confront Lu Bu. After battling against the three brothers simultaneously, Lu Bu eventually showed signs of weakness. He was forced to retreat from the battlefield, conceding victory to the allied forces. 
This accomplishment marked a significant turning point in the Battle of Hulao Gate. The Lu Bu was known as a powerful and difficult to defeat warrior, the resolve and strength of the three brothers, Zhang Fei, Guan Yu, and Liu Bei were able to subdue their adversary's defense. The collaboration of the three brothers emerged as one of the key factors in securing victory in the Battle of Hulao Gate, propelling them to become legends in the history of the Han Empire. As a result of Liu Bu's withdrawal, and the failure of Hulao Gate's defenses, Dong Zhuo was forced to acknowledge his defeat. In a desperate attempt to secure his position, he took the extreme measure of burning the capital Luoyang and leading his followers, along with the emperor, on a journey to Chang'an. This capital relocation marked the beginning of the end for Dong Zhuo's story before his demise. Following the loss at Hulao Gate, Dong Zhuo retreated with his forces to Luoyang. Recognizing that he could not hold out any longer in the capital, Dong Zhuo chose to burn the city to destroy its infrastructure and slow the pursuing allied forces. This act caused immense suffering to the people of Luoyang and added to the list of atrocities committed by Dong Zhuo during his rule. Dong Zhuo decided to take the emperor and his loyal followers in a mass exodus to the western capital, Chang'an. He hoped that by relocating the center of governance, he would be able to secure his power and escape the pursuit of the allied forces. In the western capital, Dong Zhuo transformed Chang'an into a new base for his operations and government. He believed that by moving the capital to Chang'an, he would gain better control over the empire and maintain his power as the de facto ruler. However, the move to Chang'an was not enough to save Dong Zhuo. Ultimately, after various intrigues and internal strife, Dong Zhuo met his demise at the hands of his own followers. Dong Zhuo's death put an end to the tyranny he had inflicted during his reign and marked a turning point in history. Dong Zhuo's flight to Chang'an became a vital part of the story of this man filled with power, cruelty, and corruption. After destroying Luo Yang and attempting to save himself in a struggle for power, Dong Zhuo eventually met his end as honesty and goodness began to triumph over the darkness. He had spread. Following the Battle of Hulao Gate, the Allied forces successfully defeated Dong Zhuo and his army was forced to retreat from Luo Yang. However, as the Allied forces entered the ruins of the former capital, they found no trace of the enemy or Han Emperor. Ultimately, the Allied forces had to return to their respective regions and carry on with their individual struggles. In a film adaptation of this story, it was revealed that Lu Bu fell in love with Dao Chan, a beautiful woman being prepared to be Dong Zhuo's wife. Lu Bu's deep affection for Dao Chan becomes the trigger for him ultimately betraying his direct superior, Dong Zhuo. Advisor Licinius Crassus successfully orchestrated a ruse that eventually led Lu Bu to rebel against Dong Zhuo. They exploited Lu Bu's jealousy and the offer to rescue Dao Chan. From the grasp of Dong Zhuo, Lu Bu then supported this conspiracy and chose to turn against his cruel ruler. After planning and preparation, Lu Bu launched a rebellion against Dong Zhuo, destroying the superior who had trusted and promoted him without wasting much time. Lu Bu brutally ended Dong Zhuo's life, thus ending a prolonged tyranny. Ironically, even though Lu Bu managed to kill Dong Zhuo and win Dao Chan's love, his life also ended tragically. Lu Bu was later captured and executed by his rival, Cao Cao due to ongoing political scheming and intrigue during the Three Kingdoms era. Lu Bu's betrayal further added drama. To the Battle of Hulao Gate's story, this tale of love, intrigue, and betrayal involved several characters who ultimately met with fatal ends. Films adapting from this story create an even more captivating and dramatic narrative, asserting that interpersonal conflicts and relationships form the foundation of this story. 
through the epic and stirring tale of the Battle of Hulao Gate. We are invited to reflect and learn from the life struggles of its characters. This story is able to inspire readers and viewers to become better individuals by prioritizing values of goodness, honesty, unity, and sincerity in life. While these historical events may have passed, the wisdom and motivational messages within the story remain relevant and important in human life. Hopefully, through the tale of the Battle of Hulao Gate, we can continue to learn to be wise individuals and play a role in creating shared happiness in our lives. Fifteen minutes late. If you like and want to see our latest uploads, don't forget to like and subscribe. Please comment anything that you think is lacking or something that needs to be discussed. Thank you.